we start by the definition of prime number an integer p strictly greater than 1 is called a prime number or simply a prime if its only positive divisors are 1 and p and any other integer which is not prime is called composite now we divide divisors into two categories one is trivial divisors and others are non trivial divisors trivial divisors are one and itself and with divisors other than one and itself are called non trivial divisors primes have only trivial divisors and composites have non trivial divisors also among first 10 positive integers primes are 2 3 5 7 and composites are 4 6 8 9 10 and integer 2 is the only one prime and integer 1 is neither prime nor composite so it's a special number next question we have to find five such primes of the form n square minus 2 so we start by putting integral values of n first for n is equal to 2 we have 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 which is a prime next number 3 it is 9 minus 2 7 which is again a prime for 4 16 minus 2 14 which is not a prime for 5 25 minus 2 23 prime for 6 36 minus 2 34 not a prime for 7 49 minus 2 47 prime now for n is equal to 8 64 minus 2 62 not a prime for 9 81 minus 2 79 prime so the primes are 2 7 23 47 and 79 hence the answer in this question we have to find an example an integer which is not of the form p plus a square so we make a table for that we start putting values of n first value is 1 which may be written as 1 plus 0 2 may be written as 1 plus 1 square 3 3 plus 0 4 3 plus 1 square 5 1 plus 2 square 6 5 plus 1 square so continuing like this we will find 25 is the number which may not be written as p plus a square required answer next question we have to show that any prime of the form 3n plus 1 is also of the form 6n plus 1 so we start by writing 3n plus 1 is prime now n is of the two type n may be even and may be odd if it is even it is of the form 2k if it is odd it is of the form 2k plus 1 now putting this value in 3n plus 1 we very easily we can see it is 6k plus 1 required answer when we put 2k plus 1 it is of the form 6k plus 4 which is not a prime So the only possibility is that 3n plus 1 is of the form 6k plus 1 required answer. We have to prove only prime of the form n q minus 1 is 7. Let n q minus 7 as so putting formula for a cube minus b cube here. So it is n minus 1 n square plus n plus 1. For n q minus 1 to be prime, either n minus 1 is 1 
or n square plus n plus 1 is 1 because otherwise n cube minus 1 is not prime. So from here we get n is equal to 2 and here we get n into n plus 1 is equal to 0 which is not possible. So we are left with only possibility that n is equal to 2 and for n is equal to 2 n cube minus 1 is 7 required answer. Given n square minus 4 is prime, also n square minus 4 can be factorized into two factors. For n square minus 4 to be prime, at least one of the factor has to be 1. Either n minus 2 is equal to 1 or n plus 2 is equal to 1. So from first we get n is equal to 3 or n is equal to minus 1 which is not possible because for n is equal to minus 1 n square minus 4 is minus 3 which is not a prime and for n is equal to 3 we get n square minus 4 is equal to 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 which means only prime of the form n square minus 4 is 5. Next we prove for p greater than or equal to 5 a prime number p square plus 2 is composite. Now to prove this we use application of division algorithm. When we divide any number by 6 it is of 6 forms namely they are 6k, 6k plus 1. 6k plus 2, 6k plus 3, 6k plus 4, and 6k plus 5. As given p is prime, so it is not of the form 6k, 6k plus 2, 6k plus 3, and 6k plus 4. The only options left are 6k plus 1 and 6k plus 5. Since p is prime, so it takes the form 6k plus 1 or 6k plus 5. So in case 1, when p is equal to 6k plus 5, p square plus 2 is equal to 6k plus 1 square plus 2 which further is equals to 36k square plus 12k plus 3 very easily which is which is multiple of 3 and composite in second case when p is equal to 6k plus 5 p square plus 2 is equals to 6k plus 5 whole square plus 2 which further is equals to 36k square plus 60k plus 27 which is again a multiple of 3 so which is again a composite so for p greater than or equal to 5 prime p square plus 2 is composite we get the desired answer here next we prove given p is prime and p divides a power n then p n divides a power n so given p is prime and p divides a power n we know from property of primes this imply p divides a and using definition of divisibility there exist integer k such that a is equal to pk now raising power n on both sides we get a power n equals p power n k power n 
So once again, using the definition of divisibility here, we get p power n divides a power n. Hence the result. We prove every integer of the form n power 4 plus 4 is composite. So by definition of composite integers, if we are able to find a non-trivial integer, it's composite. So let's write n, n power 4 plus 4 and to try to find its factors and very easily we are able to find that is n square minus 2n plus 2 and n square plus 2n plus 2. And for n strictly greater than 1, clearly n square minus 2n plus 2 is strictly greater than 1 as well as n square plus 2n plus 2 is strictly greater than 1. So which means that n power 4 plus 4 is composite. Hence the result. Here we prove that any integer of the form 8 power n plus 1 is composite. So again we are interested in finding a non triple divisor of 8 power n plus 1. So very easily we can write it as 2 power 3 n plus 1 which may further be factorized into 2 power n plus 1 and 2 power 2n minus 2 power n plus 1 and by definition of divisibility clearly 2 power n plus 1 lie between 1 and 8 power n plus 1 which makes it a, as a non-trivial factor and 2 power n plus 1 divides 8 power n plus 1 hence 8 power n plus 1 is a composite answer here we prove that any prime p not equal to 5 and odd prime either p square minus 1 or p square plus 1 is divisible by 10 so by division algorithm we know when we divide any number by 10 it is of the form 10 q plus r with r lie between greater than or equal to 0 strictly less being than odd prime being odd prime so it takes only of the form 10 q plus 1 10 q plus 3 10 q plus 7 10 q plus 9 only four possibilities and very easily we can combine first and four and second and third so it becomes 10 q plus minus 1 and 10 q plus minus 3 so in case 1 this this is case 1 this is case 2 p square becomes so squaring this 10 q plus minus 1 whole square equals 100 q square plus 1 plus minus 20 q and uh, when we subtract minus 1 on both sides so it is 100q square plus minus 20q which is a multiple of 10. So clearly 10 divides p square minus 1. In the second case when p is 10q plus minus 3 so squaring both sides it is 100q square plus 9 minus plus minus 60q. So now adding 1 on both sides, this is 100q square plus 10 plus minus 60q, which is once again multiple of 10. So 10 divides p square plus 1. So hence the proof that uh, either p square minus 1 or p square plus 1 is divisible by 10. Required, required answer. If n is strictly greater than 1, integer not of the form 6k plus 3 prove that n square plus 2 power n is composite so once again being composite we need to prove that it has a non-trivial divisor so when we divide any integer by 6 
it is of the form 6k 6k plus 1 6k plus 2 6k plus 3 6k plus 4 6k plus 5 so given 6 it is not of the form 6k plus 3 so we are left with only 5 cases so let's start with case 1 first we put 6k so then n square plus 2 power n becomes 6k square plus 2 power 6k which is 36k square plus 2 power 6 power k clearly this is multiple of 2 means it's a composite number now in the second case 6k plus 1 it's 6k plus 1 square 2 power 6k plus 1 when we open up the square 36k square 12k plus 1 2 power 6k plus 1 and very easily we can write it as 36k square plus 12k and 2 power 6k plus 1 1 power 6k plus 1 which may further be expanded as 12k plus 2 plus 1 2 power 6k 2 power 6k minus 1 minus 1 6 1 2 3 minus 1 power 6k and clearly this is a multiple of 3 so in all the cases we get either it's multiple of 2 or multiple of 3 which makes n square plus 2 power n as composite an integer n strictly greater than 1 is square free if and only if n be factorized into product of distinct primes so we start with prime factorization of n let n in prime factorization may be written as p1 power k1 p2 power k2 pr power kr and uh, given n is square free means n is not divisible by square of any integers if ki is strictly greater than 1 power 1 less than equal to i less than equal to r then pi square will divide n which is not possible so therefore ki has to be 1 for i lie between 1 and r which means n is equal to p1 p2 up to pr product of distinct primes now conversely let n is product of distinct primes n is not divisible by square of any integer which means n is square free answer